So I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer. So what's mental toughness, you might say? Well, it's focused, confident, determined, and resilient. Resilient means that you have the ability to bounce back from difficulty or losses, mistakes. It means to never, ever, ever, ever give up. I'm here to give you some tools to get all of that for your next game, your life, and beyond. So let me just start out by explaining how having mental toughness will help you play better. Because that's what we're here for. Why don't you start off by thinking about the best game you have ever had for a second here. Now, for that moment, didn't that just feel great thinking about it? You know, while playing, and even now, while you're just thinking about it, didn't that get you somewhere thinking about your best game? I'll bet that before that game that you weren't down and depressed, right? And thinking about losing now, weren't you? What were you thinking about before and during that game? How did you feel before that game? Confident? Ready to go? Excited? Now that's what we're talking about here. Isn't it true that you are most likely going to play better when you feel great, like you feel confident? So the object of the game for us here in learning mental toughness is to get ourselves to feel, think, confident before and during the game. And this is how you're going to play your best. It's pretty simple. So here's the deal. I want to talk a little bit about winning for a moment here. Winning's a good thing. I want you to win. You see, far too many young athletes, they think way too much about winning and losing. That's how you put pressure on yourself. That pressure doesn't feel very good, does it? And that makes it harder to play your best when you're feeling that kind of pressure and that nervousness. Also, too many young athletes, they think that they can only feel good after they play well or the team wins, and that's not true. What you want to do is work with yourself so that you feel great before you start the game and you keep it going during the game. That's what allows your best performances to come out. And stop thinking about winning and losing so much. Get this, winning. It's almost like an accident. It's like a byproduct of feeling so great about yourself and, and your abilities to go out there and do your best. Some people call that type of playing in the zone. So now you might be saying to yourself, well, if I'm not thinking about winning this game, what should I think about that'll, that'll get me to feel great so I can play my best, as you say? Well, you have the answer for that right inside you. But I'm going to get you started. Would you play even if you knew you weren't going to win? And why? All the things you love. Start this list here right now today and add to, and add to it when you get home. These are the things that you will be focusing on and thinking about before and during your next game. 